Good morning, church family. It's great to join you again today as we study God's Word. Please begin your study in prayer, asking specifically that the Holy Spirit will allow a heart-changing understanding of the scripture that we will dig into today. This week, we are exploring Lesson 8, Jesus Rebukes the Pharisees. Our focus passage is Matthew 12, 22-37. Today's central truth is, Jesus condemns those who say His power comes from Satan. Then a demon-oppressed man, who was blind and mute, was brought to him, and he healed him, so that the man spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this man casts out demons. Knowing their hearts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, unless he first binds a strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his house. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good, and the evil person out of his evil treasures brings forth evil. I tell you, on the day of judgment people will give an account for every careless word they speak. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. For our lesson today, we will focus on three key parts of our passage. Jesus was accused by the Pharisees, verses 22 through 24. Jesus refuted the Pharisees, verses 25 through 29. Jesus accused the Pharisees, verses 30 through 37. Have you ever been in an argument where you know you are wrong, and so you just resort to calling the other person bad names? Does this really work? This kind of response of attacking the person rather than their ideas or arguments is called an ad hominem logical fallacy. I know that's a mouthful. You see, the Pharisees couldn't refute or say anything against the miracle that he just performed or any of the other awesome miracles and things he said. So they just essentially resorted to name calling. This shows how weak their side was and how and it kind of showed how blind their hearts were to the true Messiah. What does this instance show about the Pharisees' response to the work of the Holy Spirit? Well, it showed they were so self-deceived that they could not recognize the work of the Holy Spirit. They were so against God in that way. Describe what Jesus thinks about how important our words are and reflect on how well you glorify Him and how you speak. To summarize our lesson today, we observe that Jesus did another powerful miracle, and yet his enemies knew it was supernatural. So instead of denying the miracle, the Pharisees said that Jesus did it by Satan's power. But Jesus proved them wrong, explaining that his works were good because they came from the Holy Spirit. In fact, it was the Pharisees who were evil, since their evil words proved their evil hearts. They committed the unforgivable sin rejecting Jesus with the full knowledge that He was the Messiah. The Holy Spirit worked powerful miracles through Jesus to prove that He was the promised Messiah who would bring salvation to Israel and to the whole world. But the only way to receive the salvation is to believe what the Holy Spirit says about Jesus. Those who refuse to believe what the Spirit reveals to them can never be forgiven. But those who respond to the Spirit and come to Jesus will be rescued by Him. 
So, how do you respond to the Holy Spirit telling you who Jesus is?